before the game, but you guys overcame a lot today. Yeah, you know, uh, obviously Woody did a nice job of uh, overcoming that first inning and, he, and getting us through five. You know, his pitch count ended up getting elevated. Um, he had a couple plays in the first that kind of extended it for him, but kept grinding and uh, kind of settled down. Obviously, uh, swinging his three-run homer. Was it three-run homer? Yes. That uh, you know, tied it up. Uh, it was a good thing, and then Mentioning, obviously, we gave it up and then tied it and ended up you know, recovering. So it, it was a, it was a, a good team, good team win. Good way to do a nice job. How nervous were you with uh, Travis with all those pitches in the first sixty-six pitches? I, I was uh, I, I was doing the math in my head and I was you know uh, calculating what my next move would be. Obviously, um, but fortunately for us, I didn't have to uh, do anything. Out of the ordinary, we had a couple guys that we weren't going to use today. So uh, him getting us through the five, um, and as, as Pete mentioned, I mean it was 110 or 113 pitches or something. Uh, that was a nice job just to keep us in the ball game to that point. This was the uh, lar largest crowd of the year for Wrigley Field. Uh, describe the atmosphere, it, particularly you know the fact you guys have not played well the past couple of weeks. Well, the I crowd. think it, I thought I thought the guys were pretty excited. It was a nice crowd. It was buzzing all day. Uh, you could hear it from the even when he finished batting practice, it was you know, starting to fill up. But uh, it's a pretty neat uh, environment. Obviously, the fans are into it. Uh, you can hear them you know, cheering nice plays or you know, a good pitch or an at bat, whatever the case might be. But it was pretty neat. And I thought those guys, uh, like I said, yesterday they kept grinding you know, to finish the ball game. Today they, they were grinding. And uh, we came out on top. You talked about grinding just to get down, but overcoming this, the kind of miscues you guys had, is that part of development? Positive part. Every everybody, has, you know, you, you got to play through it. Everybody does it. I don't, I don't think it's. I think the biggest thing is not to let get yourself down. Mistakes happen. I mean, they happen to the best of, of, of clubs. I think in that particular instance, for us, the thought was, quite frankly, we haven't been able to really get our, our starting pitching through deeper into the ball game. My my concern of that was simply he was extending his pitch count at that point. Um, but as far as uh, learning how to overcome those things, sure, that's a part of it. That's a part of the process of developing a, a skill to uh, not let those things bother you to the extent that it affects what you're going to do the rest of the ball game. We were talking before the game about the length of the game. It's about nearly four hours. But are you of a mind that as long as you win the ball game and the, the fans have a good time, you know, we'll be here all day to get I'll be honest. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't realize it was four hours in the ball game. Um, it seemed like it was moving along for me because, uh, you know, <laughs> We're watching everything going on, so for me, it seemed like it was pretty quick. Um, but, uh, you know, good for us. Fortunately for us, it, like I said, it was a good team win. Um, as, it, as it turns out, you know, we had just enough pin to get through it. And, uh, you know, good for those guys because they kept battling. How impressive was the bullpen hitter for any conditions to seize control of that game late? For us? Oh, yeah, it was, it was you know, it was awesome. I thought, uh, you know, it got a little hairy there with Neil. Uh, I thought Wesley, you know, did a nice job. I thought, you know, everybody, Grim, came in today and did a nice job. I thought, you know, those guys ended up, uh, if you guys noticed today, you know, Grim dropped a nice breaking ball in for a strike to Adams and then didn't finish him with just heaters. It makes a big difference when you command that breaking ball uh, and, and use it. So it was, it was nice to see, and, and those guys did a great job. You know, and it was nice to see, uh, you know, we've been grinding. It was good to come up with a win today. So much of the offense this year has been Casher and Rizzo. How nice is it to see contributions from Belbuena and Sweeney? <coughs> no, it was awesome. I, I thought, you know, obviously uh, Riz and, and Starling have been, you know, generating a lot of the offense for us. Uh, but along the way, um, you know, quite frankly, a lot of the other guys have been chipping in here and there in, in their own way. And, and um, you, you need to have that in order to, to win ball games. Uh, today was, you know, Couple of the other guys, and it was nice to see, uh, you know, the homers. Uh, just because it's simply, you know, we, we generate some offense, some runs. As a former hit fielder, you, you know the technique involved in the rundown. And, uh, yeah, that was an, that was an interesting one. It's it's one, uh, you know, we were talking about it today. It, it it's actually, you know, when you see those, and, and then we saw the the ones that occurred in Pittsburgh, for example. Uh, we we use those. 
we use them as, uh, as uh, we watch the video, we, we use them to teach. And I think um, uh, this one will be something that we'll use uh, you know, to make sure we clarify our approach to run down. Any thoughts on Brazil getting hit twice? We got hit, they're pitching them in. Yeah.